Sound design in vehicles, cars, motors, rotors has become so easy thanks to this little program by Angie the Great. Go ahead and check his YouTube channel. He's a programmer doing all of these simulation programs. It says right here, engine simulator. And it produces the most insane engine sounds. You can download it right here on his GitHub page. All of the instructions below. And I've got it right here. I wish I knew about this earlier. This would save me so much time and money. And today I'm gonna show you my workflow for this software to get something like this. Let's do a whole range of motions. So now we have this recording that we can use as our source file. And I actually recorded a bunch of these and now I have a little library that I can pull from whenever I need an engine sound. Let's say we chop this, this audio file. It's not that bad, but we can definitely make it better. Take a snap hip and from the bat load a convolver. Put uh, in and out points closer together and maybe fade it out. Instantly becomes way fuller, smoother as a sound. And I got this trick from Al Aximan. Leon Bailman. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. And he created uh, this face plant engine pack all synthesized inside faceplant he puts uh convolvers in parallel and one will be responsible for the top end the other one for the mid frequencies and the last one for the low end and i got this rig i applied it to our to our engine simulations source and we can go as well in parallel load another convolver let's take um there is warehouse <laughs> And from here we can uh, make this sound fuller and fuller and it all depends on what our creative vision is, what is the audio direction we are going to. But what I like to use is definitely the convolver trick, but also we can use a shapey table. Let's take this burpy growl, smooth it out, something like that. Yeah, maybe put that there, this here. Be aware with your levels. This engine simulator has this strange uh, high-end noise that I'm not really fan of, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe let's put this one here, put that one there. What I end up doing most of the time is getting rid of that top end noise and layer something else on top of that. Let's see one of these cases. I have these two tracks. This is the same, the same audio file as before, right? They just have different effects chains. This one is a little bit more present. A Pro-Q, taming down that high frequency noise, OTT. This is that snap hip preset, three parallel convolvers. And then we have another convolver, which is fuck convolver. Let's hear before and after.
The second track has a different chain. This time I, I boosted those frequencies. <laughs> Fun enough. This is Eritizer. We have this high top end portion distortion with dynamics all the way up. This helps to smooth out those high frequencies. OTT, R bass for a good measure, the same fuck convolver, and to finish things off, a little bit of corrective EQ. <laughs> This is how these two tracks sound together. And the busy mix that that noise won't cut through that much and you can also filter it out. Uh, but what I ended up doing in this case is I have a turbine stereo by Boom Libraries. So I automated the thrust. Right, and with the tracks. It helps, it gives the message across. And to reinforce that, I, um, I have this face plan patch. And this is a sound I found on Freesound. It's a recording of a Peugeot 404. I took a portion of it, I put it into a granular module inside Faceplant. And now I have something like this. Right, and we have this control for our RPM and we can draw a similar shape to our engine. And you can do that as well with the, um, the revolution pack from uh, Leon Bailman, right? And we have a similar result here. Maybe what I would do here, remove this attack and decay for the RPM. So it just uh, snaps to my automation. Sounds quite bad alone, but in context, it gives it that edge. I also got tire skids patch. This is made with another granular patch inside Faceplant. Uh, the source that I used was this audio file. <laughs> Just a collection of tire skids uh, made by this Fract Animal user. Uh, it was made by dragging a hot water bottle across tiles. And you can create something similar by using something like this. Not sure what's the name in English. Pour in some hot water and you can drag it on the wooden table on a wooden door, on tiles, and it will produce very similar effect. So you can create your own tire skids. And they they sound great by themselves, but I love using granular patches because I can perform the skids myself with the keyboard. Perform a bunch of those, stitch them together. And this is what we got so far. Create another snap hip patch, which will be our distance control. And yet again, we use a convolver to do that. I use this sports center preset and our distance control cuts a little bit of that low frequencies boosts a little bit of 200, so we can automate that as well. It will seem like it's speeding away. And I guess that's 
it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today and I see you next time.